Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Shattered Pixel Dungeon. Sorry for screaming in your ear like that. I don't know why I did that. I don't know what came over me. Welcome to episode three of Shattered Pixel Dungeon, I'm playing as the rogue. We're doing pretty good so far. Um, we've got this really awesome armor, the scale armor of potential. Um, and, you know, whatever, some, some okay weapons, I guess. I think we're gonna switch over to the Chilling Dirk for now. We're in the process of uh, identifying the Sapphire Ring. Ooh la la. Ideally, I want to just find a transmutation scroll, which maybe this is one. I want to find a transmutation scroll so we can transmute this ring into something else. I don't want it to be an energy ring because we don't have really good wands to use to utilize the energy ring to its fullest potential, you know, so I would really prefer to use um, another ring, you know. It, it We found it like that, plus two, so it's quite rare. Um, I just want it to be you know, more useful. So, you can get scrolls that transmute items like a ring or a, um, a sword into another item of equal equal value but different attributes. Okay, so, and I'm not a huge fan of our wands either. Like, we're not getting too lucky with the wand in the wand department. Uh, I forgot we do have that other wand. We could equip that wand down here. And remove the curse from it. Um, okay, so well, we need to deal with this guy. Let's uh, wait for him to open the door. Where'd he go? Man, that took you forever. Okay, so now let's remove the curse. We have a lot of remove curse scrolls, so we might as well be. We might as well. We might as well remove some curses. I also do like this, but I don't know. I might get rid of it. I, I should probably sell it. Okay, let's try this. Boom, okay, that paralyzed everything. I just wanted to get rid of that trap. Dear Lord. Oh, that bat is paralyzed, so we're gonna put some corrosion down there for him while he's paralyzed. Haha, uh, sucker. And then, yeah, finish him off. Man, that paralysis is intense. Um, now, what we can do, now that we have this, uh, this this wand, so we can push these uh, piranhas out of the pool. No, we don't have enough charge for that last piranha. We'll come back though. We can push them out of the pool and it kills them. It's a really easy way to kill them and get free, free food. Free food! I wonder, can we push him? Okay, do we have, are we charged yet? We are, nice. Okay, and then there's some enemies. So yeah, every time we get hit with our armor, we have uh, the Glyph of Potential, which charges our wands. There we go. Okay, so let's grab this food. We need to find a key to go down there. Okay. But we got free food, so that's nice. Free food! And, ooh, another wand. Well, well, well. Would you look at that. Um, I gotta stop saying that. It's not my catchphrase. I'm copying it from another YouTuber. And I'm assuming you probably know who it is, but if you don't, it's pretty funny and it's old. Um, that's why I assume, like, pretty much everyone knows it, but, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then, uh, look on YouTube. Just, just search up, look at that. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like a catchy, it's catchy. It gets in your head. It's in it's in my head. It's in my brain cavity. But I think it has something like 32 million views or something crazy like that by now. It's like seven years old or something. So, you know, most people know. I don't know why I've been uh, following him lately. Ed Bassmaster. He still makes uh. He still makes content. So, you know, he's pretty funny. And I watched that again recently. And then. Yeah, it just kind of gets in your head. So yeah, let's sell that. And let's, um... Head on down here. We can use the corrosion. Aw, oh, damn it. I was gonna say, you can make a, a thing of corrosion, like a, a cloud of corrosion, and then use the, uh... the blast wave wand to push people back into it as they try to make it through the corrosion like this. We'll try... And then push them back into the corrosion. Push them back into the corrosion. It's pretty good. 
Another health potion. Yes, bats have the tendency to drop health potions as well. I think we have like seven, nine health potions now. Wow. That's uh, pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good, eh? I am Canadian. For anyone who cares. I am Canadian. Alright, now we can finally go open this door. And another sword. Another sword. How many, uh, how many identification scrolls do we have? We have one. Jim, any crickets? Um, well... Let's head back to the store and figure it out there. Because, uh, again, inventory management can become a problem in this game. Let's push him back more. Push him back more. Come through the frickin' doom cloud of corrosion. Oop. Oh, another one. Oh, wait. Nice, getting lots of health potions, so that's really awesome. We have really strong armor, getting lots of health potions. Um, you know, it's pretty good. And give him a zapperoo. No, we can't. I guess we'll just push him back into the corrosion. And one rule of thumb that you want to follow is you do not want to fight enemies inside the store. Um, because it can, I guess, glitch the store out and uh, make everything disappear. Ooh, an accuracy ring. I like that. That's been helping us, actually, um, with the killing of the bats. Usually they have a higher... Uh, you know, a pretty high uh, evasion rate. Uh, let's pick up this scroll of identification. Oh, and I guess we can pick up this remove curse scroll as well. And that's pretty much all I want and can afford. Um, I think we're going to sell this, honestly. We're going to sell it. And I guess we'll identify... I don't really even like using items in stores because it can be tricky. Uh, we'll sell this one too. Just Keep the inventory nice and clean. So fresh and so clean. And there. Okay. Put a gas cloud there and shoot them back some. Give them a couple of zapperoos and bing, bang, boom. See, that accuracy um, ring is really helping us. Even though it's just like a low-level accuracy ring, it's, it's helping us quite a bit. We might have to use a health potion for this. I don't know if we have enough health. It's pretty damn low. Oh yeah, we're going to use a health potion. Got a pasty, a levitation potion, and ethereal chain. Yeah, I'd rather just keep a, keep a ring. Just have that passive effect constantly in the background. Get out of here. Paralyze him. Give him a couple of zapperoos. Grab that. And identification. Ugh, is there anything that we want to identify? Probably not right now. I'd rather save it for if we find like a good weapon. I'm still waiting to find a good weapon. And actually, in the caves here, we can actually find um, assassin blades. Which is, would be, you know, the, the next logical move for the rogue. Um, up from Dirk would be like an Assassin's Blade. So we can find those in the cave. So we'll save that identification well in case if we end up finding an Assassin's Blade or just at least like a tier 3 weapon. Oh. Oh, hold on. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to disappear. Oh, damn it. Never mind. I was going to try and push him into all these fire traps. But that's not going to happen. And this room, you can tell there's secret doorways where the fire traps don't exist. So, just search there. He wants us to go kill a bat with, um, with this pickaxe. Which means first we have to find a bat. Damn it. Eat frickin' poison. Or corrosion, rather. Uh, 
Okay, well I guess all the enemies just lost track of us. We can wake him up. Oh damn it, I shot the cloud too close. Poof, man. Man, oh man, oh man. Mangarang. Zap. Push. Okay, we need a levitation potion. Let me go get it over here. Oh, is he just gonna chill there? Dude. No. We need to go invisible. So he gets out of the way before our freaking levitation wears off. So we don't fall in the traps. Okay, another one of these guys. We don't have any charges. Okay, the bat can't really do too much damage to us, so we don't really have to worry about him. There. Okay, now this guy, we're going to give him a real rude awakening and turn him into food. Oh, damn it, I forgot about the bats. We need to kill one with a pickaxe. Get all distracted. Get all super distracted. There's one. Okay. Quip. Boom, there. Kill the bat. Alright, good. Now we can equip our Dirk back on. And go give the... What's his name? His, uh... His thing. Okay, let's wait for him to come out the door and then try to push him in the hole. In the hole! Aw, oh, damn it. Get in the hole! Do 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 And there, there, there. Alright, let's head on over this away and Okay, now we're going to give him our armor. That's why I kept this armor. And we're going to reforge them. It's going to give us plus 7 armor. So it gives us a slight increase on our uh, defense. Which we didn't really need, but, you know, might as well. As I don't really have another weapon that I want to... Um, another item or something that I want to do that to. Um, okay, well... There you go. <laughs> Burn! And then we're also going to put some, uh, some corrosion down, and we'll just wait for you over at this door here if you make it. Aww. Oh, he just made it. He just made it and died. Then go, there goes the door. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. Do 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 I shouldn't hum. Nobody wants to hear that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is a pretty. Man, I'm hearing these stupid cats on my roof again. It just freaked me out. I could hear them all the way from the roof. It's insane. Okay, he's gonna light this whole freaking area on fire. We're just gonna go this way. Stupid cats, man. There's this one really annoying cat that, um... I have two cats, right? And they're both females. And, um... They're both fixed as well. So they can't have babies. And there's this one cat. I have one cat. One of my cats is, like, a grayish sort of color. And, um... She... There's another cat around the neighborhood. Like, we found her around this neighborhood. My girlfriend found her. And... Um... You know, whatever. She brought it home, and, and then we took care of it and made it our own. And then another cat that looks really similar to her, which I'm guessing is a male cat. I don't know if they're brother and sister, or if that's her dad. It looks like... It could be brother or sister. Brother and sister. 
there's a lot of stray cats in, in the area that I live in, in the country that I live in. It's not my country, but um, it is a problem in this country. I don't know, I, I won't say the country, it doesn't matter. Um, but anyways, um, the cat comes by the house looking for her specifically. So I don't know if it's a similar cat but not in the same family or like her brother that wants to hang out like they're reunited now he grew up on the mean streets while she got adopted you know i don't know and so now they're hanging out like do cat brothers and sisters hang out with each other you know and like would they if they didn't bond from a young age would they hang out with each other because this cat is super annoying it comes outside my house looking for that cat for my female cat and it makes the loudest most obnoxious freaking meow like, meow 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 and it's just like oh my god i want to kill you like you're the that is the most annoying thing and i'm just like chilling out having a relaxed time playing some video games working whatever and then out of nowhere like once every couple of hours um that you know meow 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 and it's like this aggressive freaking meowing and uh it's it pisses me off i hate the sound i hate the sound of it so i don't know i'm trying to trap it i got some uh traps in the uh mail today that i ordered for that cat and i'm gonna trap it and just drive it away you know i don't know a few kilometers feel bad like whatever yes this you've made this your home um but you know it's also my home and you're freaking disturbing me so and i'm pretty sure he's getting into fights with my other cats so it's like i gotta do something about him you know i gotta gotta get rid of him i love animals but you know this country has a problem with with stray freaking cats. I love animals as much as I love them. You know, if they're gonna be a nuisance, then, you know, I gotta get rid of them. I'm not gonna kill it, you know. That would probably be the easier way to do it. I'm not gonna kill it, I'm just gonna catch it and drive it away. All right, so, uh, some more wraiths here. What we'll do is we'll try to line the wraiths up. So the disintegration one, the thing about that one is that, um, yeah, the disintegration one goes straight through everything. It goes through enemies, so you can line enemies up. All right, another crystal chest. With another wand or ring. Well, let's go for the wand. Okay, this is my first time really getting used to this wand. Um, let's, let's equip, let's use it. This is the, um, it shoots rocks at people, I guess. And after enough rocks have been shot, then it summons a little rock golem. Not sure how exactly it works. Um, okay, so we're gonna go, let's go check. Man. Man. Come here, you idiot. Okay. Go away. Oh, dear lord. Man, so much stuff going on. What's over this away? We're almost done with this floor, I think. Alright, nice. We got some paralysis. Haha. So the uh, corrosion. No, get back over there. Okay, he's dead. Okay, friggin' paralysis. Go away. Um, where was the other place that we needed to go? I thought there was another place. Okay. No, I think it's just the treasure room right over here. So that's what we're gonna go deal with now. So basically, with the treasure room, what you want to do is prop open the door, search around, 
Now when it's those traps, these are uh, rock traps. So basically rocks fall. So you want to stand outside the room because the whole room is affected by the trap. So you want to stand outside the room and throw stuff onto the traps to disable the traps. And basically, yeah, we're just gonna nullify all the traps, as, or as many traps as we can, by throwing stuff. And thus, we should be able to maximize our profits. Oh man, I can't reach that one. Can I throw from here? No. Ugh. Get out of here. Well, I think that's probably the best we're going to do with the angles that we're given here. Yeah. Okay, no, there's another trap down there that we can get. Boom. And then what about this final trap down here and here? Okay, no, that's probably about as good as we're going to get. And we do not have a levitation potion, so we're going to have to take some hits. Um, I'm going to eat one of these mystery meats. So, right now, we get a lot of gold from here, too, by the way. So that's why I really want to come in here. 100 gold, like, each one is worth at least, like, around 100. You know, 81. So, we're going to have to trigger the trap. Aw, oh, you bastard. And let's use the uh, lullaby scroll. That, that'll heal us nice and full. We're going to have to trigger this trap. It's just worth all the money. There's only tr three traps left. There. There. We got all the trap, all the money, all the trapped money. And now we can head down to the 14th floor. The caves do take a lot longer. This episode is going to be a lot longer than, like, all the previous episodes. Um, a transmutation. I'm pretty sure there's a transmutation. What is this? Accuracy ring. A cannon. No, it wasn't a transmutation. It was a multiplicity, damn it. Okay, whatever. There. Give you a zap. Push him back a little bit. Give you another zap with that. And push you against the wall a little bit. Basically bully him. And uh, what other... Yeah, we have this too that we could use. I wish the hot bar was uh, bigger. You know, there's a lot of projectiles and stuff that I would like to use. Another one of those freaking wands. Well, I guess we'll just use whichever one's better. Levitation. Levitation potion. Oh man, did he escape? I think he got me with the poison. Get out of here. He should die from corrosion. Oh man, that plant monster. That's a, it's called a cave spinner. Dear Lord, man. try this as a teleportation. I think we're only missing one freaking scroll at this point. We can look. If you hold on your menu, you can look at what has been identified and what hasn't. So we're just missing the terror and transmutation scroll. What about potions? We haven't found... Oh, wow. Four potions. These are auto-identified. These are uh, the wands. What is this wand? Uh, 
And all the weapons. All the weapons. Here's the Assassin's Blade, which I would like to find. I would like to find an Assassin's Blade. Anyways, whatever. Oh, wow. The frickin' massive, massive trap room. Oh, all right. Hold on. Can't believe we're still using this chilling dirt. Man, I hate these cave spinners. Get out of here. Get. Just let him come out. We could probably just go in and kill him, but I don't know. I'm being overly precautious, I guess. I'm not used to having such good armor. Well, you can't go anywhere. You're stuck in this room. There. Our upgrade scroll. Uh, let's eat this last piece of char grilled meat. And I think connect. Screw you. Oh my god, man. Oh my frig. Fucking cave spinner central. Get out of here. Dear lord. Frickin' die! Ugh. I hate them. I am poisoned, and I'm about to die. We're gonna have to use some potions. Just attack of the frickin' cave spinners, man. Okay, that one is cursed. We can't use that. This one we can use. Come here. It's enough of you. I'm gonna just run up and kill you too. Found some meat. I guess we can cook it over here. And then I think there's still one more cave spinner out and about. This should probably connect back over there, and this over here. And then boom, liquid flame, some stones, and uh... Alright, we're heading down to the boss, believe it or not, finally. I didn't think we were ever gonna make it down to the boss. <laughs> and we still haven't found a freaking weapon though. Which, that kind of sucks, but I'm going to keep holding out until we find a decent weapon. Get lost. Oh my god. Alright. Time to eat. Let's eat some food. I guess we'll eat a full ration. And now, the thing with this boss... Oh, we have six of these scrolls. We might as well remove this curse. Might sell it, but... I want to uh, put that one on instead. Now, okay, what are we going to do here? We have some... Uh, let's just wing it. We are just going to wing it. Throw some toxic gas at him. Okay. I'll respond to that shortly. We'll hit some corrosion as well. And we want to keep him... Yeah, we're going to light him on fire.
Uh, okay, sorry, I'm just concentrating. This boss can be pretty tough. We'll light him on fire, push him back, push him back, hit him with this. Invisibility, attack, invisibility, attack, run away. Invisibility, attack, run away. We want him to come this way. Keep him off those grates. Probably gonna have to use a uh, healing potion. We want to get him onto the water. Unlike the goo boss, you want him on the water. Because there's no grates there. He can heal himself fully on the grates. Okay, time to heal. We've almost got him. No more invisibility cloak, so we can't surprise attack him anymore. We just have to run away and attack him. There we go, we got him. Nice, 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 nice. Whew, we beat the freaking caves, guys. The caves is a challenge. And we're still using a tier two weapon, and we're in the dwarven freaking metropolis. Um, all right, well, let's do our regular ritual of selling stuff. We got five grand. I'll get rid of that too. Um, okay, we're gonna buy this bandolier, that's for show. And we're gonna get this health potion, this health potion. Gonna get this uh, stylus, gonna get this food. And I'm gonna get this uh, augmentation stone. Now, whatever's left over, I guess, I don't know, man, like, I don't really need anything. I guess if we can find a scroll that isn't identified yet. No, they're all identified. So I don't know. Let's just grab a identification scroll. Retribution scroll, that could be all right. That's good. Okay, well, next episode we're going to continue on through the um, frickin' this place, Dwarven Metropolis, and uh, it'll be fun. We're almost done. Hopefully we find a new weapon soon. Um, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Love to hear what you think, and like and subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a nice day. We'll see you on part four. Bye.